The US dollar recorded its largest single day gain in eight years. It happened the day after Donald Trump's victory, which was so decisive that it avoided any of the scandals that accompanied the election four years ago. In brief, the future now looks like this. Inflation in the US will pick up steam, while economic growth outside its borders will likely lose momentum. As a result, the Fed Reserve may slow down on the rate cuts, while the European Central Bank could speed up with the rate cuts. However, until Trump's inauguration on November 12, 20, the president-elect might hold back on his America First promises. But markets do not like to wait, and they are already pricing in the red sweep scenario. This term con uh, coined by journalists describes a situation where Republicans control not only the White House, but both the chambers of Congress as well. Previously, the US dollar rose to ferments high amid the Trump trade, so the current peak is clearly not the limit. Since the beginning of the year, the sixth currency US dollar index has advanced by 3.8%. Experts admit that the dollar may strengthen against its competitor by another 4.5%. Given that the US dollar is the backbone on the global financial system, the sustained strength of the US currency may also impact other assets. One of the biggest currency losers is likely to be the euro, which recently showed its worst performance since 2016. However, after testing the area below the critical level of 1.7, the euro dollar pair has rebounded. This recovery occurred primarily because dollar bills have taken a post ahead of the Fed Reserve's policy decision today. The oral picture suggests that the U.S. funds interest rate may remain significantly higher than in the Eurozone and the other countries. In turn, the Eurodollar pair is doomed for a decline in the future. Naturally, this will not bring any optimism to Euro buyers in the coming days. Before the recent rebound in the Eurodollar pair seems to be temporary. Technical indicators also point to a strong bearish trend for the Euro. The key resistance level is now 1.08. Meanwhile, the bearish scenario could drive the euro down to 1.06. It's the lowest level since the beginning of the year. In the long term, Trump's red sweep means a rise in input tariffs and tough US protectionists for Europe. This would involve policies aimed uh, to uh, shield the American market from a competitive from foreign goods and services, current statistics show that the Eurozone economy is already in a fragile state. An unfriendly stance from the US could only worsen these issues. For instance, Germany's industrial production contracted by 2.5% in September, and the leading economy in the Eurozone heavily relies on the US market as its main buyers. Hence, the doom and gloom may persist. The state of affairs in the European Union is further complicated by the collapse of the ruling coalition in Germany after prolonged budget disputes. Uh, Olaf Scholz dismissed the finance minister, and this has led to the breakup of the three party ruling coalition and set the stage for early elections in Germany at the beginning of the next year. It's a hard to imagine a more inconvenient time for political issues in Europe's largest economy. While the Germany's political drama amplifies the trade risks of Trump's presidency for Europe, the new US president has sparked some growth in the air market. However, in terms of a technical analysis, the situation has not really changed. Brand prices, for example, remain within the range of $74 to $76 per barrel, where they were trading even before the presidential election. In the past day, prices simply shifted from the lower border of this range to the upper one. Nevertheless, recent data has laid the groundwork for a further rally in oil prices. The catalyst was once again Germany, whose mm, economy has managed to avoid recession. It implies that energy demand will be slightly higher than previously expected. On the other hand, the oil market is a highly sensitive to media coverage. If poorly political topics begin to fade, economic data could allow air prices to break out of the current range. For example, tomorrow the Consumer Sentiment Index will be published in the United States. If the index rises to 71 as expected or higher, the dollar will gain an advantage over both the euro and the oil prices. You can find out how economic statistics affect market growth in our traders' calendar. 
While major global economies and currencies are adjusting to new Trump's presidency, the Russian ruble remains largely unchanged. Although the ruble did experience a sharp spike in volatility, and today the dollar ruble pays a trading within the same range of 97.20 to 98.30. The fact is that the Russian market is highly isolated from the global financial world, allowing the ruble to ignore any external shocks. Besides, Russian investors try to not place in expectations forecast, preferring instead to respond to actual developments. Donald Trump has yet to make any statements regarding relations with Russia or the political review of sanctions before the ruble is in the wait and see mood. Meanwhile, the ruble is weakening against the yuan. Moreover, both the short and medium term trends towards the ruble's weakness against the yuan are still relevant. So the lows at the 13.75 to 13.90 rubles per yuan may be tested again very shortly. That's all for today. We monitor developments in financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with the latest news with us. See you tomorrow.